Alrighty guys, what's going on? Linky here, and in today's video, we are gonna be talking about the Pal Park. Everybody's favorite feature that half of people who play Diamond and Pearl never actually knew about. But the weird thing with the Pal Park is that its features and what it did in the original game doesn't necessarily work in a remake. And yet, when we look at the map of the Sinnoh region, it's still there, but it also has some new features. So in today's video, we are gonna discuss all of that and we are joined by a special guest, the one and only Ryan, also known as Chromanize. How are we doing, buddy? Oh, oh I'm oh. all right. Well, that's a solid, that's solid. Little, that's fabulous. Okay, uh, with that being said, we are gonna hop right into things as Ryan wheels us in with some lovely, depressing introduction. Ryan, in the original games, it was basically how you transferred Pokemon into Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum from like Emerald, Ruby, Sapphire, Fire Red, Leaf Green. But we don't really need that anymore because we have home. Like, that's I, true. Like, I suppose they could just sort of make it that when eventually we get access to home, you can move the Pokemon in from home and then you have to go catch them in the pal park but I, that would feel very arbitrary and not at all intuitive like it would just seem really strange yeah when you transfer it to any other game it's just oh it's in the box yeah and they're keeping the other quality of life box features from modern games too i think I forget where they said it. I think it was in like those previews last month that you're going to be able to access your box from anywhere. So they're keeping some of those modern things in. So just gerrymandering this random feature from 12 or 14 years ago just to keep the continuity would just, it would be very strange. Yeah, I don't know about that. So what else could even possibly be? Exactly. And there's a couple, there's a couple ideas that I feel like we've talked about and I've seen other people in the community talk about uh, there were some leaks which I'll just address right now this could be a spoiler guys if you have not kept up with you know the thousands upon thousands of people claiming to have real information about Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl but there was something put out on the internet basically saying it's going to be a new shiny hunting method and I don't know about you but I don't buy that really at all. That doesn't I don't know. I don't like that idea. I don't either. Like, just stick with the shot. Like, I get that they're probably going to increase the shiny odds to what it is in Gen 8, but, like... What if they didn't? What if they brought back the the, uh, the shot? Well, wait a minute. <laughs> they brought back, like, the, 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 the in one in 8,000. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was, was. one in 8,000, and they had that weird, like, pokey radar method in Gen 4, didn't they? Yeah, they did, and then as you... You just you kept the chain up it would get smaller and smaller i have a weird that we haven't seen that yet in any of the trailers i have a feeling that could come back now before we go any further i just wanted to mention that the vast majority of you guys who are watching this video aren't subscribed to the channel now i know i know it's just struggle it's tough you got to go down you got to click that red button but it's free and you can unsubscribe at any time and if you subscribe you won't miss any pokemon brilliant diamond and shining pearl videos in the future and the game comes out next week, so you're not going to want to miss any of that. So be sure to fix that if you're not subscribed already. Let's get right back into the discussion. So it just wouldn't make much sense if it was a shiny method. So let's just ignore that fact. For Let's ignore the fact that that's a leak and think about some of the other ways that it could, you know, be utilized. And I think the first thing is something that you pointed out to me when we were planning this video. And it's something on the map that I literally hadn't even noticed really until now. Yeah, it, it, it's completely different from it the is. original one. It's the layout late. is yep. not, that is not what it looks like. <laughs> no, and it also has new things that weren't even in the layout before. Like there's caves. Everywhere, all over the place. There's like, like eight of them. There's little, there's little caves on the land of it that look and like there's one that goes into um yeah it just goes into the mountain yep in there so i don't know what could they use like i i'm trying to figure out what they could use caverns for maybe maybe to simplify what was already a pretty simple mini game i don't know but then it's like what and then at that use... point there's at that point there's eight of them so i don't yeah. know yeah 
Like, what would they use the minigame for if not for Pokemon Home? Could it maybe... We've talked... There's been a lot of speculation about what kind of connectivity Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl could have with Legends Arceus. So maybe there's some sort of... Maybe it's how you send Pokemon that are Hisuian Pokemon from Legends Arceus to Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Um... Maybe it has like a, maybe it's got like a whole time travel thing. Who knows? Because there's things in Legends that make it seem like time travel is going to be part of this. Whether it's, you know, the fact that we're part of like the Galactic Expedition team or whatever it is, or the fact that there's a phone. Like maybe there's some kind of connectivity with the PAL Park to Legends Arceus. That could be possible. Yeah, that's true. It's just weird because I think it's, I think it's weird that there's obviously something different here. Mm-hmm. But they have said nothing about it. They haven't covered it once. Absolutely nothing. They've We've gotten trailers for Team Galactic, and we've seen, like, battles with their bosses. We've seen Amity Square. We've seen being able to make Poffins. All of these, like, you know, little side features in the original games. And the Pal Park just isn't there. And I mean... It makes it even weirder because you're you're literally not talking about a feature at all. And on the map you put and out, it's also that it's definitely something new. Yeah, so it is. It's got to be at weird least that they something... just choose to. It's weird that they choose to just not talk about it. It is unless they're going to unless it's going to be brought up in the next week. Which... Listen, this video could be <laughs> defunct in about three days when they drop a trailer on Tuesday at nine a.m. Eastern. Or it, or it could already. Oh. Be defunct when it comes out. <laughs> oh, right. I hope not. <laughs> I really hope not. Then I got to reshuffle my entire schedule. That's not good for the Linky brand. Not at all. Yeah, oh. then we'd have to come up with something else to do. <laughs> oh, it took me a whole class of writing in a notebook ideas to come up with this one. So let's not do that again. I have a thumbnail done already. That would be terrible. Um, <laughs> but like, let's entertain the idea. Let's let's entertain what would be the worst possible implementation in that it's it is just home. the go park <laughs> oh like it's literally and it's not just the go park but it's oh no it is no yes it is the go park but for all of Pokemon but you home, still you st- yeah and you still have to go in and catch everyone <laughs> I guess that would be a way to get park balls in the game. Because what other I mean, way are you going to get those special I mean, pokeballs? Yeah, but the thing is with that, you're only supposed to use them in the park. Yeah. I, don't, I don't remember you ever getting them outside of it. No, you don't. The only use you have for them is the fact that you go in with them to re-catch your old Pokemon. But then again, not to attack, I don't mean to attack Pokemon, but part of the appeal, and it's ruined in some generations, Part of the appeal of catching Pokemon in specific Pokeballs of your choice during the story is that sometimes you like to catch certain Pokemon in certain Pokeballs. Like, I know that sometimes when I do playthroughs, I like to catch my Pokemon in as many different kinds of Pokeballs as possible. And when you have them all in Park Balls, you kind of lose that. So, like, I like the idea of getting to keep my Pokemon in the Pokeballs that I originally caught them in. Well, yeah, that's true, because if you transfer them over... Oh, no. Yeah, like, like in the that. originals, like, if you caught... In the I original like the worst-case scenario. Let's that is worst-case scenario. <laughs> like, when in the originals, when you transferred your Rayquaza from Emerald and you used your Master Ball on it, or maybe oh. you caught it in, like, a Premier Ball, you just lose it. It's now in a Park Ball. I never thought of that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's see. This is this is why you got to watch these videos. Oh my God. Um, like you just lose it. So I hope that doesn't happen. I hope it's, I hope it's something new or at least something adjacent to what the original intent of it was. Maybe. Right. Do you remember in X and Y in one in the like the last town of the game? I can't remember the name of it, but you could only visit it through the train station once you beat Diantha. Um. Oh, that's true. The Battle Maison was there in that town. But in that town, there was like a garden where you could catch certain types of Pokemon based on something to do with the PSS. Do you have any recollection of this? um, The uh, Friends Safari. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So maybe it's some type of something. If it's it's something along the lines of that, I mean, that could work. Mm -hmm. There's the uh, the whole Union Room. There is. is There is. And we do also have the trophy garden in these games as well, which already exists. Yeah. 
So there's there's precedent for like specific patches of grass, for lack of a better uh, way to put it, where you can get certain types of Pokemon. So maybe it is, maybe it is similar in a way to the Grand Underground, which unlike in Diamond and Pearl, you can catch Pokemon underground now and they're like ones you wouldn't be able to catch normally. So maybe, maybe this is a way to catch Hisuian Pokemon in the modern games and we're going to be able to get access to them before Legends Arceus comes out. Clearly there's like, there's ideas. There's, for a, the there's a lot. There's, there's a lot that could, could be done. Yep. Yep, there's a lot it could be, and the fact that they haven't shown it to us once is very strange. If any of you guys have ideas as to what the PAL Park could be, I'm sure we would love to hear about them in the comments. So, what do you guys think? Could it be a shiny hunting method? Could it be Pokemon Home connectivity? Could it be some way to catch rare Pokemon? We would love to hear more about that. And Ryan, if people would like to find more of your content, where can they go? description <laughs> they can go to the description or they can go to my sub box and if they go to the chromanize youtube channel what kind of videos will they get to watch pretty similar to the sky reading <laughs> yes yes Pokemon except they're videos. a lot they're a lot shorter bite size so if you don't want to waste... specialize in that <laughs> yes if you don't want to waste 10 minutes of your life watching me you can spend five minutes watching ryan and you'll probably get the same amount of information so you should go do that yeah that would be appreciated <laughs> yes it would but Ryan, thank you very much for joining me on this discussion today. No problem. I appreciated it. Made my life easier. Um, and if you guys uh, are not subscribed to the channel or you're not subscribed to Ryan, you can fix both of those things by going to the description down below. And let us know in the comment section, what do you want to see them use the Pal Park as? Or do you want them to torture us and be very boring and just make it the home connectivity? because that is a very real possibility. I cannot wait for worst case scenario. <laughs> Neither can I. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel. I've been Linky. We'll see you all in the next video because BDSP comes out next week. See you guys later.